Um, it's Sally here. Um, I uh, just got my hair done, and uh, I know it's a little lighter than I thought I should get, but hey, it's summer's coming. Um, tomorrow I'm getting my nails done. You say, why am I spoiling myself like that? Well, on Friday, my husband and I are leaving on an aeroplane to go um, on our little weekend that he won. Um, from his work, you know, the one he didn't call off for a whole year and they had a little um, drawing and we won. So um, we're going and I'm so excited. Um, that's how I got this camera. I don't know if some of you remember or some of my new subscribers. We got this camera and we got <clears throat> the trip, the air, air flight um, there um, to Atlantic City and $250 to spend. And, <clears throat> well, for gambling, but I don't know if I'm going to gamble. I think I'm going to go shopping. But um, That's neither here nor there. Um, when we get there, I guess my husband and I will decide because it's his prize. So, just like the camera, I kind of took it over to. <laughs> but um, I guess that's what happens when you get married, huh? Um, tell him that one. Uh, no, I'm just joking. He doesn't get upset. Um, so, anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow because I have no nails. None, 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 none. Um, in kindergarten, constantly washing my hands, constantly using hand sanitizer, you know, because I was sick. I had pneumonia for a while, and uh, um, over that, thank God. And I don't want to get sick again because, you know, my surgery date is June 9th. June 9th. Um, wow. I'm getting nervous, but I'm going to relax this weekend. I know. Um, people at work and my friends and my husband and my kids always tell me that... Um, I don't relax. I worry too much. I worry about everybody. Um, so I'm going to try to relax and not worry about them. Or anyone, I guess, for that matter. And um, I had some, um, when I was at the hair place, I saw a picture of this, um, this I want to say girl, but she's 37 years old. This woman that I work with, she was a first grade teacher at the school right across the highway from where I live. And I did my student teaching there and my kids went to school there. And um, I found out that she had died of cancer. Um, she, when I was with her, she did have um, cancer. And um, my cousin had gone to the um, Holy Lands for um, her honeymoon and brought back St. Bernadette water. I don't know if you're Catholic, you'll know about St. Bernadette. Um, this um, holy water that's supposed to, you know, help you in recovering or, you know, give you um, less pain. And I had, had blessed her with this water, and um, she was doing really well. And that was 10 or 12 years ago that I had blessed her with that. And she was doing marvelous. Well, the, um, I, I might have the story mixed up, so um, if anybody knows her that's watching this, um, she had ovarian cancer. And it, it, first she had, yeah, ovarian cancer, and it moved to her breast, and it moved to the other breast. And then... Um, I guess it had moved to um, her brain and she could hardly even walk. So she stopped teaching and a month later she died. I'm so sad. I said I don't buy the um, local paper um, anymore. So I didn't know. I did, I did not know about it. And my niece had mentioned something, but um, I guess it really didn't register until I saw Tracy's picture and I just was like, oh my gosh, she's 37 years old. Um, first grade teacher and it devastated the school, not to mention her first graders she had in class. Oh my gosh. Um, so try to keep um, Tracy's um, husband, she had a husband, she didn't have any children, um, her husband and all her students. Um, Six-year-olds take death hard. They don't take it. I mean, we all do, but well, those babies, you know. Um, anyway, um, keep them in, in your prayers, um, please. Um, so anyway, uh, it was very disturbing to me. Um, here I am, you know, 42, and trying to plan, you know, for my surgery and my life and, 
you know, and having discrepancies in my life with my family, you know, they're not talking and this, that, and the other thing. And here's a poor girl who, you know, her husband doesn't have her anymore. Her students don't have her anymore. I mean, she died. You know, her life is over. And some of us are just, you know, like my family is in all this um, fighting and um, Gertie wants to be on video, sorry. And, and just, you know, with my sister starting all this um, drama in our family anymore because, you know, um, it, it's just, you know, it's a long story. I, I, you know, watch my other videos about my family. Oh, they're so messed up. I just stay away from them. But all that drama with my family, and I just think, you know, why can't everybody just get along in my family? I mean, because you never know when the last day you're going to see somebody. Huh. Isn't that something? I always say that because everybody, you know, everybody that knows me um, personally, anytime I leave somebody, um, be it my family's friends or, you know, somebody that I see in the street and they say, oh, how you been? You know, and I haven't seen them in a while. I always give them a hug goodbye. I'm always like that. I'm a feely, touchy kind of person, I guess. But I always give them a hug goodbye because you never know. You really don't. Life is so unpredictable. But, uh... Um, so anyway, I just wanted to make that video, um, I'm packing and, um, well actually I don't have all my stuff packed. My husband's already packed. He's so excited. And, um, I'm, I, I never procrastinate, but with this I am. I'm a little nervous about this airplane. Um, Daryl, my husband, has never been on an airplane. So he's just like, woohoo, you know. I was on an airplane when I was five. And, um, I don't know, I don't remember much about it, but there's so much with, the world today, I, I know, you shouldn't live in fear, and there's my worrying again, but um, I'm worried about that, because, you know, if, God forbid, something happened to my husband and I, my boys, you know, are by themselves, but they're, you know, <laughs> see, I worry, I think too much, but, um, yeah, so we'll be going there Friday, um, and um, then when I get back, um, I have my blood work to do. And I have my final physical before my surgery, and then I'm going to start the liquid diet. So, um, I guess I better have a good time, huh? But, hey, God bless you all. You're always in my thoughts and prayers, and thanks for watching, and thanks for all my su new subscribers. Wow. Um, I never thought in a million years people would want to listen to what I have to say. But, hey, thank you so much, and... Um, um, a lot of you post ops. I'm going to be asking you a lot of questions real soon. Um, so um, I hope I'm able to help everybody when I'm post op. So, but yeah. Um, thanks everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.